Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, plus people's reactions to those deaths, as seen at Legacy.com in the third week of January 2022. Actress Carol Speed died January 14, 2022 in Muskogee, Oklahoma at the age of 76. She was known for starring roles in the classic exploitation films Abby and The Mac. Speed is also being remembered for movies including Black Samson, The Big Bird Cage, and Savage. TV host Ralph Emery died January 15, 2022 at a Nashville hospital. He died after a brief illness at the age of 88. He was a longtime DJ on WSM Radio, home of the Grand Ole Opry, before hosting popular country music TV shows including Nashville Now and Ralph Emery Live. Emery is being remembered for a lifetime of promoting and supporting country music. Singer and songwriter Fred Paris died January 13, 2022 after a brief illness at the age of 85. He was the lead singer for the doo-wop group The Five Satins, and he wrote their hit song In the Still of the Night. Paris was a veteran of the U.S. Army. In fact, he wrote In the Still of the Night while he was serving on night guard duty, and he recorded it when he was home on leave. He is being remembered for crafting one of the most enduring love songs of the 1950s. YouTuber Adelia Rose Williams died January 12, 2022, of progeria at the age of 15. Millions of people viewed her videos of makeup tutorials, unboxing, and more as she brought awareness to progeria, the premature aging disease she suffered from. Williams is being remembered for her exuberant dancing and indomitable spirit. U.S. Air Force veteran Charles E. McGee died January 16, 2022, in his sleep at the age of 102. He was one of the Tuskegee Airmen, the elite group of black pilots and support staff who served in World War II. He chose a career in the Air Force and went on to serve in the Korean War and the Vietnam War, flying 409 combat missions, the third most in Air Force history. In 2020, McGee was promoted to the rank of Brigadier General and honored by President Trump during the annual State of the Union Address. Songwriter Dallas Frazier died January 14, 2022, at a care facility in Gallatin, Tennessee. He died of complications of a stroke at the age of 82. He wrote hit country songs including Elvira, All I Have to Offer You Is Me, and Alley Oop. Frazier is also being remembered for songs recorded by non-country artists including Elvis Presley, Diana Ross, and Jerry Lee Lewis. Basketball coach Joe B. Hall died January 15, 2022, at his home in Lexington, Kentucky, at the age of 93. He was the longtime head basketball coach at the University of Kentucky. Hall is being remembered as a legend of the school who took the Wildcats to a national championship victory in 1978. Fashion icon Andre Leon Talley died January 18, 2022, of a heart attack at the age of 73. He was the former editor-at-large for Vogue, as well as the magazine's first black creative director. Talley is also being remembered for his best-selling memoir, The Chiffon Trenches, and for being a judge on America's Next Top Model.
basketball player Lucia Harris died January 18, 2022 in Greenwood, Mississippi. She died unexpectedly at the age of 66. After winning three consecutive national championships with Delta State University, she scored the first points ever in Olympic women's basketball. Harris is also being remembered as the only woman ever drafted by the NBA, though she chose not to have a professional career. Actor Gaspard Ulliel died January 19, 2022, at a hospital in the French Alps. He died from injuries sustained in a ski accident at the age of 37. He co-stars in the upcoming Marvel television series Moon Knight, playing Midnight Man. He is also being remembered for films including Hannibal Rising and A Very Long Engagement, as well as for being the face of the fragrance Blue de Chanel. Actress Yvette Mimieu died January 17, 2022, of natural causes at the age of 80. She starred in the early 1960s films The Time Machine and Where the Boys Are. Mimieu is also being remembered for movies including Picasso Summer, Light in the Piazza, and Toys in the Attic. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. Flags in Virginia have been lowered to honor the memory of State Senator Harry Russell Russ Potts, Jr. Flags in California have been lowered to honor the memory of Los Angeles Police Department Officer Fernando Uriel Arroyos. Flags in Connecticut have been lowered to honor the memory of New Haven Police Officer Diane Gonzalez, who died as a result of injuries sustained in the line of duty. Flags in Alabama have been lowered to honor the memory of former State Representative Horace Wilton Powell Sr. Flags in Missouri have been lowered to honor the memory of St. Louis Fire Department firefighter Benjamin James Polson, who died as a result of injuries sustained in the line of duty. Flags in Kansas have been lowered to honor the memory of McPherson emergency medical technician Randall Willem. Flags in Illinois have been lowered to honor the memory of child protection specialist Deidre Silas. Flags in North Carolina have been lowered to honor the memory of the two Camp Lejeune Marines who died during a vehicle accident in Onslow County. This week also marks several notable anniversaries. Ten years ago this week, singer Etta James died of leukemia at the age of 73. Twenty years ago this week, singer Peggy Lee died of complications of diabetes at the age of 81. Boxing champion Muhammad Ali was born 80 years ago this week. He died in 2016 of septic shock at the age of 74. Gorillas in the Mist author and scientist Diane Fossey was born 90 years ago this week. She was murdered in 1985 at the age of 53. Civil rights icon Martin Luther King Jr. was born 93 years ago this week. He was assassinated in 1968 at the age of 39. Actress and singer Eartha Kitt was born 95 years ago this week. She died in 2008 of colon cancer at the age of 81. Actor Telly Savalas was born 100 years ago this week. He died in 1994 of prostate cancer at the age of 72. And actress Betty White was also born 100 years ago this week. She died in 2021 of a stroke at the age of 99. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook, 
and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths and reactions.